Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. It's Camille, also known as Glam Cam. And in this video, I'm gonna be giving you guys my updated wash day routine. If you're new here, go ahead and subscribe. I have a lot of content on my page already and more to come. And if you're returning, thanks for coming back and I hope you enjoy this video. So let's get to it. Um, this is me taking down my hair. I'm actually just gonna show you guys how I am moving forward managing my hair, especially with my hair growth challenge. Check that video out as well. So basically, I'm gonna start off with with taking my hair out of the previous style it was in this is especially in the case if you already have twist or braids in or you know just any style that you need to take out to get your hair ready for wash day this is obviously self-explanatory but I'm showing you guys how I am managing my hair as I take out the mini twist I had in prior to this wash day so basically I'm gonna just take out the twist and I'm separating each half of the twist and then here is my hair fully out so the next step would be the hot oil treatment. However, I actually forgot to do the whole hot oil treatment in this wash day, so we're just gonna skip ahead. Um, but I do have a video of how I do my, wash, my hot oil treatment and I will update you guys with another video. But anyway, step 1C will be the pre poo or detangle step. This is where I prep my hair for shampooing. And in this case, I'm gonna be using my apple cider vinegar mixed with conditioner hairspray to just saturate my hair in that product, in that ingredient or whatever you wanna call it that DIY mix and I actually use this to detangle my hair. Now if you watch my hair growth challenge video, you know that I am no longer using brushes or combs to detangle my hair. I'm strictly doing finger detangling. So here I am just demonstrating to you how I am finger detangling. And in this case, I don't really have much detangle because my hair was in twist and pretty much detangled prior to that. But um, in any event, this will take however long it's supposed to take until I feel comfortable with the section and how detangled it is. But basically, in this case, I'm just going to be pulling apart the clumps of hair that came from the twist and just lightly and gently detangling it or separating that those sections and coating my hair with more and more product as needed. Now, there are techniques for finger detangling such as just raking your fingers through your hair or you can do the thumb thing where I'm like, you know, kind of stroking my hair but sticking my thumb through it. That sounds crazy. But um, yeah, detangling with the thumbs and also just stretching the hair at the ends. That's the raking method and then that's the thumb method and then yeah, and you can just do it as much as needed until you feel comfortable. It doesn't have to be fully, fully, fully detangled. It just has to feel like it's pretty much detangled before I start to twist up and move on to the next section. Now one thing I want to show you is how I'm detangling as I am twisting down and that's just to make sure that the hair is all in uniform while I twist it up and prep it for shampooing but also I want to show you guys this technique that I'm doing at the end of my hair that I learned from a YouTuber and I will link their account um, in this video but where in the video she wrapped the ends of her hair and wrapped it back up the twist to kind of protect it um, and I thought that was really cool so I tried it out and I really like it so that is now a part of my wash day routine okay and now I'm just going to show you guys again in the next section how I finger detangle and I really want you guys to um, just watch I sped this portion up because I don't want this video to be too too long and I don't want you to get bored but I do show you guys um, from beginning to end how I finger detangle the section so go ahead and watch that and just watch how I rake my fingers through and just make sure that I'm comfortable with the detangling of the sections.
Okay, so now I have fully detangled or finger detangled and twisted up my entire head. And these are the twists I am going to go ahead and shampoo it. Now the next step will be to prep your rice water and DIY mixes. You want to make sure that you separately do this so that you're prepared when you're in the shower and ready to wash. So this is my rice water and this is how you want your, I sat this rice water out from Friday. It is now Monday in this video. And this is how the rice water is looking. You want it to be kind of cloudy and with little sediments in it. And this is the spray bottle I put the rice water in. Okay, so now I got you guys back in the shower with me. I really don't, I kind of get nervous about my shower footage because I just be looking crazy, but here we are. So to shampoo, this is step two, shampoo. I'm using this Kristen S Signature Shampoo for all hair types. And I was curious to see how this will work, but I actually really like it. I've been, I got this small size to try it out, but I've been reaching for this shampoo like every wash day. So it's pretty chill. I really like it. It has a gentle scent and it lightly lathers my hair and it's not too drying so that's always cool um so basically i you know got you guys know i shampoo my hair in my twist and i just focus on the roots and my scalp and i just go ahead and massage gently you guys know how to shampoo so i'm just gonna let you guys watch Now, of course, you go ahead and rinse the shampoo out of your hair, and then I go in with my favorite, new favorite conditioner. This is the Aussie Miracle Moist Conditioner, and step three is gonna be to condition and rustle clay. I put that in one step because basically I'll take out a section, rinse it, and then I will put the conditioner in, as you will see. So this is how my hair is looking after the shampoo. Um, so I think I just wet it and then I will put the conditioner in. Oh, I already did put the conditioner in, sorry. So I put the conditioner in, then I rinse it out and then I go right in with the Rasul clay mix that I have. Oh, look, <laughs> blooper. <laughs> I did not put that top on before I started going crazy. But anyway, um, I always wait to shake up my mix until I'm right about to put it in my hair because it always, ex it starts to explode sometimes like a volcano because of the apple cider vinegar. But that's just the mess that, you know, is, is entailed with wash day. We'll just deal with it. So I go right in with the Russell Clay Mix after the conditioner. So it's kind of one step. Um, and just, I'm just going to show you guys again how bomb my hair is after I use Russell Clay. Because you know I always have to show you guys the miraculous results of my Russell Clay Mix. And I am going to give you guys a video of how I make this mix. I know I've been stalling on that, but I'm going to give you guys a video soon. So be on the lookout for that. But anyway, this, you know, Russell Clay has revolutionized my hair and I will never part ways with it. And I explained that in my first wash day. So anyway, I kind of just skipped showing you guys me putting in the conditioner. But trust and believe, I did put conditioner in every step. I'm just showing you guys the Russell Clay part of the step. But that's just to show you guys the before and after. One thing I do want to mention is um, to not spend too much time retwisting up your hair in this step because twisting up your hair can take up a lot of time, especially if you're in the shower and that's a lot of water being wasted. So um, in the future, I will like once I do the conditioner and Russell Clay, I'll probably just twist my hair up and combine the hair sections into four sections so I don't spend time retwisting each section. That's a lot of time. So this is how my hair is looking after I rinse out the conditioner and Russell Clay, guys, like bomb. Like my hair used to be so matted, so dry and tangled. Like, oh my goodness, please watch the seven ingredients that revolutionized my hair. I will link that video up top to show you guys how I went from ashy to classy with my hair regimen and my hair texture and this is my hair um just after shampoo like i haven't even deep conditioned yet so this is the next step 
So look how defined and stretched and also detangled my hair is even without using a comb. And that was the mistake I did in my first wash day video. I actually used the Rasool clay after the shampoo and then went in with the conditioner and then combed my hair. So I combed out all of those beautiful clumps of curls and I'm never doing that again. That was a big no-no. Never comb out those beautiful clumps of hair unless you know, you're about to blow dry it or something. So anyway, back to step four. We're gonna do the rice water rinse and deep condition. As you guys know, I have fell in love with rice water. I have a video of my you know, rice water challenge, my before and after. And so basically when I use rice water, I use it as a hair rinse after shampoo. And I'm sham I basically saturate my hair in the rice water and I saturate my scalp with it. I rake it through my hair and then I'll just coat the deep conditioner right on top of that rice water and let that sit for 45 minutes to an hour. So today I'm using Maui Moisture's hair care deep conditioner. Um, I will probably link the name of the product below because I don't remember what it's called. But in any event, just get a nice deep conditioner you love and trust and put that rice water in your hair. You guys notice how brown my roots are? Look at my roots, guys. Like, my hair is now turning like burgundy because of the Ayurveda mix that I've been doing. But I will get more in detail with that when I get to that part. But my hair is turning brown. And you guys know I dye my hair black. So that's, that's, that's going to have to change. But um, this is just me going in four sections, coating my hair in the Russell, I mean the rice water, and then coating my hair in the deep conditioner, and then just twisting it back up. So I do this in four sections. Okay, so after you let that sit for about an hour, you just go ahead and rinse it out and wrap your hair in a t-shirt, a t-shirt, a cotton t-shirt, okay? And this is how my hair is looking fresh out of the shower. No product whatsoever, no product, okay? You see this? This is like my hair used to not be like this. Like I am, I just, every time I do it, I'm so shocked at how beautiful it looks. And look at the brown in my hair. I gotta dye my hair again because that Ayurveda henna and Amla has changed the color of my hair. But anyway, now I'm going to go in, separate my hair, you know, right down the middle, half and half, how I always do, and start in the back right, how I always do. And I'm gonna go in with step 
five, the lock B method. The lock B method, I'm gonna use my Ayurveda and aloe vera and rice water hair spritz mix. Saturate my hair, this is the L, the liquid. I'm gonna saturate my hair in that spray. Look at just, it's just no product guys, like it's bomb. Um, so yeah, basically you just spray your hair, spray your scalp in the product, just how I did the rice water. However, you just don't rinse this out. And this has henna, amla, and fenugreek um, tea. So it's strengthening, it's fortifying and stimulating. It has rice water, so it's also strengthening, fortifying, and, and stimulating. And it has aloe vera juice, which is moisturizing, and it seals the pH. It seals the cuticles, and it matches the pH of the hair. And then I go in with the O, which is the oil. This is just a combination of oils like I, um, aloe vera, I mean, not aloe vera, sorry, avocado, olive oil, and all the other good stuff. Seal that liquid moisture in. And then I'm going in with the As I Am Pomegranate Leave-In Conditioner, Grow Your Leave-In Conditioner. And it smells so freaking good, guys. Like, it smells so good. Like, you can eat it good. Like, so good. But anyway, this is the C part of the Lock B Method, the conditioner. And I'm just going to saturate my hair in any good leave-in conditioner that you trust. And then this is the B Method, my hair butter. I actually go into detail of how I made this hair butter in my hair growth challenge video. Um, so basically, I'm going to just coat my hair in this hair butter, which is going to seal in all of that moisture look how thick that butter is it's really good and really moisturizing it has all the good butters in it and all the good oils and it's even infused with some herbs like i went all i went all out with this hair butter like i, I was not playing so i just coat my hair and it just feels like such good love and self-care to my hair and yeah that's basically the lock bee method i actually do this to each section of my hair in four sections before i start styling just to make sure that i do all of this to my hair while it is all the same wetness the wet wet state you know i don't want to get to the top of my hair and it's completely dry before i start doing this so i do it while it's still damp from showering or or shampooing so I go in with the liquid, the oil to seal in the liquid. I go in with the cream to seal in the oil or whatever. <laughs> and then I go in with the butter to seal in the, the conditioner and the oil and the liquid. And I'm just going to do this to these all four sections. I am just shocked that even without combing or brushing my hair, my hair is pretty much still detangled. Um, it's not as detangled as like it would be with a comb or brush, but it is as detangled as a four textured hair needs to be. Like I am over the fact, over trying to prove to myself that I could comb a brush through my hair. I do not need to comb a brush through my hair every time I wash my hair. I am actually working against my hair when I do that. So actually me not combing it has made my hair so happy. It, when I work with my hair, my hair works with me. I notice that when I work against my hair, it fights me. So like by not combing or brushing my hair, it has been such a good wash day. Like so, and this is just cause I had twists in my hair. Now if I probably had a wash and go, I probably would have been like, oh my goodness but we'll see. So anyway, this is step six where I just go ahead and style my hair. Once you have locked in all of the moisture and done the, the, the four steps for locking in moisture, you go ahead and style your hair. Now today I'm gonna to be doing mini twists again because they're very low maintenance and I'm doing a hair growth challenge. So I am pretty much doing my hair in extremely protective styles and I'm keeping my hair wrapped up in my scarf for most of the day and I'm leaving my hair alone. So I'm just gonna do twists um, for today. But you can, of course, go in with your twist out style, your braid out style, um, your wash and go or whatever, whatever you feel sees fit for whatever week or whatever style you want to do. But today I'm doing twists. So I'm just going to show you guys the steps of me doing twists. Basically, I part and I twist. There you go. <laughs>
all right so this is the final look of my mini twist in the wet state guys look at that health that moisture that semi brown tint in my black hair and I am pretty much pleased with how this turned out. Um, one thing I do want to note, when you do not use a comb or brush to detangle, you will be pulling out shed hair all throughout the wash day routine. So you're just going to have to deal with that. But you'll definitely notice that you pull out less hair. And <laughs> just because you don't pull out all the hair at once with the comb and brush, you're going to be pulling it out all throughout the wash day. So don't feel like you're losing a lot of hair. That's just the shed hair and yeah so this is my final look guys i did mini twist this week i may do a wash and go next week um but yeah this is my hair feeling all healthy and happy this is how my hair looks when it's happy <laughs> and i hope you guys learned something new from this video i hope you guys are partaking in the hair growth challenge with me please comment down below what steps you're taking to grow your hair comment your favorite part of my steps and or you know anything that you have to say and like this video if you found this content helpful see you guys in the next video